Henry Wickenberg was born in Essen, Prussia, a coal and steel town in what is now known as Germany. Together with his brother, he mined coal in the land which belonged to his family. However, the mineral rights were claimed by the government and Wickenberg immigrated to the United States in 1847 after the local authorities raided the family farm. Henry Wickenberg came to the Arizona area in search of gold. He was rewarded with the discovery of Vulture Mine, which ran from 1863 to 1942, where over 340,000 ounces of gold and 260,000 ounces of silver were found. Together with Henry Wickenberg and the miners, they helped found the young community of Wickenberg in 1863. What's up, Bam Bam? Welcome to Kill Out 702's Adventures and Explorations. Today we're taking an adventure and checking out the historic district Wickenburg, Arizona. So, right now we're going to go ahead and check out the jail tree. Jail tree and public walkway. So I guess we got to head this way, follow these lines. We're just going to check out a little bit of history. We're going to go check out a ghost town that's here tomorrow morning. I got here a little late. So, it's all good. Pool, welcome. Uh, low, something. Enter in, enter in front. Pool. Some old school buildings back here. Well, it said that the public walkway is this way. So we're going to see what we can find. I don't know what to expect. But I do know after this, I need to find a free campsite because I don't know how, where I'm going to sleep tonight. I'm not sure yet. So, I wish there was arrows telling me where the jail tree was. Right now, I'm not seeing one. Maybe this is it. I think it is it. This is the jail tree, if I'm correct. Yep, the jail tree. From 1863 to 1890, outlaws were changed to this tree for lack of Husco. Escapes were unknown. Isn't that crazy? Press for audio history. I don't think it works anymore. It definitely would have been cool. This guy's all chained up to the tree. That was a jail tree kind of crazy how it started growing out the side Seward Johnson 2008 he had his boots his hat his lock and chain poor guy <laughs> but that's it that is the jail tree it's pretty interesting we got a big safe thing locked up here where it was it's pretty cool Yep, that thing's literally wrapped around the tree. I'm not sure what this is, but it's pretty cool. So that's it. So, come over here, see what this one says. The Arizona Community Tree Council and the Arizona Centennial Foundation designate this tree as the centennial witness tree verified to have witnessed Arizona's state history from February 14th 1912 to February 14th 2012 it's pretty cool so I guess I'm gonna walk this way we're just gonna take a walk of the old district just to kind of check it out maybe grab a beer I gotta stay here tonight so we'll see what happens Maybe we'll do another walkthrough at night. Maybe it lights up. But you definitely got the old school Wickenburg down here. You got all the old shirts. Sure, you got antiques. A couple of old stores and shit. National Register of Historic Places. That's pretty cool. I don't know what that place was. That is. 
Creations and Thread. What did it used to be? I'm not sure, it doesn't say. But we're gonna keep on walking. All these old buildings right here. It's pretty cool. Town Hall, Museum, Tourist Info, Community Center. It's pretty warm out. It's hot as heck today. So we'll walk up this side of the street and we'll turn around and we'll walk back down this way. Old buildings. And by the way, smash that like button for your boy. Bringing you some awesome content as much as I can. Another little historic area. I guess the library is that way. That was free parking, that's where I parked. Apache Street and Tag Tegner Street. Historic downtown. Council Chambers. Municipal Court Administration. Police Department. It's pretty cool. So you about a little bit of the history. Like this guy. Let's see what this guy's all about. This Everett Bowman. All around champion cowboy of the world years 1985 or 1935 and 1937. Birth July 12th, 1899, Hope, New Mexico, October 25th, 1971. He passed away here in Wickenburg, known as the Cowboys Cowboy, admired and revered by town folk, father and organizer of the Turtle, Asso Turtle Association, 1936 which became the Professional Radio Cowboy Association, 1937, owned Hart Cross Ranch Hillside, Arizona, acquired private plane and license in 1933, took up golf 1947, hit hole in one in 1952, champion mule trainer, served as head wrangler at Flying E Ranch, Wickenburg. Thanks for wonderful memories, Flying E guests, staff and friends finding provided by the Wellick Foundation 2002 so that's pretty interesting that kind of scared me a little bit look at that big old rattler I didn't even see him sitting there I just looked over um something rattlesnake I don't know exactly what that says that's pretty cool town of Wickenburg the town hall uh-oh, watch yourself. You got a big old beetle monster. I've actually seen one of those in person. It's pretty cool. Town of Wickenburg. West Valley Treasures. Historic downtown Wickenburg has been chosen as one of the West Valley Treasures. In 2002. Let's see what else we got here. Look at this. We got this guy. This is Henry Wickenburg. And that one says 1819 to 1905, founder of the Vulture Mine and Town of Wickenburg. Sculpture Cindy Ross Morgan, commissioned by the Wickenburg Notary Clue, dedicated November 23rd, 1998. That's interesting. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to be checking out the Vulture Mine and the Vulture Ghost Town, and he founded it, so that's pretty cool to know. Now, what else we got over here? Eaton Historic Wickenburg. Wow, they got a bunch of, a little bit of everything. DMV, this is all the food stuff. Cowboy cooking, Sundance pizza, chaparral ice cream. McDonald's. Who knows? Maybe we'll stop in somewhere. Coco Pelly Eye Institute. Eaton Historic Wickenburg. There's your map. Map of a little bit of everything. That's pretty cool. Desert Caballero Western Museum. I'm pretty sure it's too late for the museums or anything. It's like 5 o'clock right now. Chamber of Commerce. Parking. I think we are right here somewhere. Yeah, we're like right here. So there's a whole lot of stuff to see traffic circle that goes to Phoenix all the other little stores I want to stay in the downtown part 
check out all these buildings and stuff. Welcome to the town of Wickenburg Town Hall, Police Department, Municipal Court. Look, someone forgot their cell phone charger sitting there. So that's the town hall. Look at all these, those are all Tesla chargers. I don't see them that often. It's pretty cool. Now hopefully the sun goes down soon. I am burning up. I am redder than red. Look. Woo! I'm driving all day, last couple days. And I still got four more days on the road. So Yep, just taking a walk. Like some more old shops here. It looks like the the church. Tourist info to the left. I'm pretty sure that's all closed. We'll find out. So we gotta go that way. Look folks ways crossing the street. So we're gonna go check out all this stuff over here. Rusty Rooster. Check out Rusty. That looks, that's a newer church, obviously. Back of some of the buildings, the meadows. American Legion. A couple of old shops here. Caballeros TRL, so probably means trail. American Legion. Oh, that's pretty cool. Check out that guy. That's pretty cool. Got an old anchor here. An army guy. Cool looking army guy. Old wagon wheel. Post 12. Carol Trading Co. Everything Cowgirl. Look like they got a barber shop with a real cool car out front. Nice old school Jeep. That thing's cool. Let's check out this Jeep. Nice bike. Cheria Field, Wickenburg, Arizona, US Army Corps, 1942 to 1945. That's pretty cool. You can't get any more basic than that. That thing's all metal. That's pretty cool. I need to stop saying that. That's pretty cool. But it is. That's cool. Joseph P. Foraker, Gunnery Sergeant. So it's like a memorial to all the soldiers. Trading Co. The Chamber of Commerce. I'm going to walk this way just to see what they got going on. Double H Custom Hat Co. I can imagine a lot of cowboy hats and stuff. Cowgirl crossing. Palm leaf hats. Think big, shop small. A lot of little hair saloons over here. Came class jewelry. These look like all the newer buildings. Now coming this way, I don't know exactly what's over here. I think I want to go back that way. So we'll go ahead and cross the street right here. So, have to go check all that back out. Cool little mural on the wall here. Some cowboys. I wish I was as artistic as some people. You got your donkey here. Howdy. It's pretty cool. Wow, that looks like an old head frame over here. 
Go walk that way. It's definitely a hot one. Looks like it's an active place. It might be the head brain. It sure looks like it. Just walk up, check it out. We get a little bit closer and then show you what's up. All right, so it looks like we're walking by the Chamber of Commerce. Looking bird businesses need your support. This definitely old school looking. The red and coyote in memory of Rich Blake. Tours, info, and visitor center. Chamber of Commerce. They're closed. What time do they open? Let's find out. Closed, call for any, call for some scans. The American Legion we walked by. We didn't walk down this part. It's all about the history, man. And girls. Seeing that again. Let's see if this one works. Nope. Women came yeah. west for the same reasons as men. Opportunity and adventure. This young lady has just arrived from back east to accept a teaching job in the tiny community of Wickenburg. She won't have her own home, but will board for a few weeks at a time with local families. Her classes will meet in a one-room school, so that means she'll have to teach all eight grades. Many of the students in the upper grades will be only slightly younger than she, and some won't speak English. During the fall and spring roundup, the ranch boys will have to miss school, and when they do attend, they'll be wearing shaps and boots and spurs and maybe even packing a pistol. Funds weren't always available for a school building in early Arizona, and she might hear stories of a teacher in Tucson who opened the first public school for girls in a brewery and the one in Yuma, whose classroom was an old adobe building that was formerly a jail, complete with graphic graffiti on the walls. Among her many other duties is that of school custodian. That means she has to clean and make sure there's plenty of firewood for the pot-bellied stove that will keep her students warm on cold winter mornings. She came west with romantic notions of finding a husband. As a woman in a male-dominated community, her choices will be many, ranging from cowboys to prominent businessmen. And when she marries, she'll have to give up her job. And when the next school year begins, another young woman will arrive in town with a suitcase in hand. I think it's repeating itself now. For a school building in early Little Arizona. free library, take a book, return a book. Oh, that's cool. What kind of books they got in here? In a got some nice and ones one too. I'm not going to take a book because I can't leave a book. So, a little bit of information, that's pretty cool. Old wagon here. And check this out, these are the railroad tracks right here. That would be so cool if we saw a train come through. It's pretty cool. Little wagon. Ooh, and this is one of the best parts. The train. Sweet. Check that out. I've never seen a train up close. That's freaking cool. Wonder if I can go in there. Looks like it's locked up until someone's... 761, look how massive this thing is. This thing is super big. 
locomotive number 761 restoration the names all the donors the council the town manager project manager contributors that is just too cool wouldn't it be cool to check that out It's huge. How is that freaking? That's awesome. Arizona's railroad legacy. And it's got all of this train tracks. Goes all the way to Jerome and everything. Phoenix. Gila Bend. Where are we at? Floors. Oh, globe. That's way up there. Oh, we're way down here. It's not even on the map. Oh, this is the 1900 railroad map. Okay. I don't know. Do you want me to read all that for you? That's a lot. If you guys would like to pause it and read it, be more than welcome. It's just that's a lot of reading. Locomotives number 761's Tender and Trover Caboose. I guess that's what it used to look like. 762, 761. Bunch of older ones. Can you imagine lifting this thing up? It looked like they were putting it on a trailer or something. The railroad comes to Wickenburg. Wickenburg waited a long time for its railroad, 30 years in all, from 1865 to 1895. After discovery of the Vulture Gold, ledge by Henry Wickenburg in 1863, and especially after it sailed to a New York company in 1866 and the establishment of the Vulture Mine, there was an obvious need for carriage of the heavy gold-bearing ores. In addition, the Army Department of the West, covering California and Arizona, needed better and quicker transport. It's just too cool. The front of this thing. Can you imagine getting hit by that? Standing in front of the train. <laughs> Things massive. That is so cool. Maybe if I come back tomorrow when the visitor center, it might be open. Catch the train. Watch the train come through.
perfect timing. Hey guys, my camera got hot and it shut off on me. I hope we got the whole railroad train coming through. That was freaking cool. I did get here a little late, like I said, so the museum's closed, the tourist center's closed, but we're still checking it out. I probably won't hang around till tomorrow just because I got other places to film as well. That's funny, they got masks on all these guys, Wickenburg stage. What did I say? 1950s Dude Ranch guest on their way to Flying E Ranch from the Wickenburg train station. Cool carriage. I don't know if you can see that guy's sitting up there. There you go, got a little bit of a glare. Got the horse. They actually got dirt in there on the bottom to make it look cool. Oh, there's two horses. Even the horses are wearing masks. That's funny. <laughs> Can't really read what that says. Oh, that's what that is. It's the Wells Fargo. No, Wellick Mud Wagon. Sorry. I'm going to say Wells Fargo. I can't read that all that great. But if you guys can read that, I'm not sure if you can or not. Wipe this limbs off. There you go. Little tile mural. Museum, summer hours, Sunday, Tuesday through Sunday, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Yeah, unfortunately, I was a little late. Today's Monday, 10 to 5. Yep, yeah, unfortunately. Desert Caballeros Museum, America's most Western museum. Unfortunately, but it happens. What does that say? Tourist info. Yeah, that's the center that was behind me. All right, so. Yeah. Learning center, gift shop. We're gonna head back down this way. Then we're gonna check out the rest of the stores that are on this side. So we'll turn the camera back on when we get over there. I don't need it to heat up on me again. It is really hot today. So we'll see you up the street a little bit. All right, so there's another old building. Another memorial for Alec Offner, Staff Sergeant. Wickenburg, Arizona Honors. That's cool that they do that. I'm not sure what this building is. But it's empty and really old, wow. Got the old doors, look at those stairs. Man, I would love to go in there. That's pretty cool. Gotta stop saying that, jeez. And this is Seward Johnson. J. Seward Johnson. So I wonder what this is. Here's what it is. The Hasayampa building from Ramuda Ranch. Yeah, you can, let's see in here kind of too. Look at that staircase, how it spirals up like that. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Not a retail outlet, just an old historic building. Wouldn't that be cool if we can get in there to check it out? Bermuda Ranch staff only. See, and then these all look kind of old too. Got a whole second balcony up there. Imagine just hanging out up there. They got a door there. So Bermuda Ranch, I guess, is who owns it. Look at this guy. His donkey. Eating on his bandana. <laughs> Got an old lantern on here. An old thing for water. I forgot what it was called. 
explosives and everything. He's mining for gold. He's got his blankets. And that is... I think the person who places these here, Sewer Johnson, Ben Saddlery and Shoe Repair. We saw the rusty rooster already. Desert Caballero's annual award for keeping Wickenburg Western. That's cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna walk down this way just to see what else we can find. So if I see anything new, I'll turn you on. Old water fountain. You need to push, push the pedal down for it to put the water out. Now this is the front side of that museum. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought. Another cool looking statue. Reading this newspaper. Somewhere west of Wall Street. Desert Caballeros Natural Museum. Thanks for the rain, Joe Biller, 1988. Thanks for the rain, Carol Jarvis. I turn my eyes towards cloudless skies so often, Lord, just watching for some sign or scent of rain. Sometimes thinking that I heard the sound of thunder far away across a distant plain. I watch the water tanks turn into mud holes, saw grasses dry and wither into the sun. Stirred a trail of dust behind my parry and dreamed each night the summer rains had come. Then this morning as I woke, I felt change and looking toward the west clouds filled the sky and soon the lightning and the boom of the thunder combined with rain to form a lullaby. And no one knows no better than a cowboy what moisture means to the life in this terrain. And though I know you always plan to send it, I had to tell you, Lord, thanks for the rain. That'll tell you how dry it is out here and how hot it is. Cause I'm already burning up too. We got Craig, auto and truck craft. I don't know where to go next. Let's see. It came from over there. We haven't been down there yet. Probably head down there. Cool. Yeah, we'll head up over to check out all this old stuff. Horseshoe Cafe. Horseshoe Cafe. It's definitely older, has some history to him. World's best coffee. The old menu. Native American gifts, Trader Jays. And that's actually open. They got a lot of cool stuff in there. Authentic Indian jewelry, pottery, artifacts. So we're gonna get to the next crosswalk and we're gonna cross the street. Old gas station, which is the station. Some, some more old gas pumps. Frontier Gas, Route 60. Open for reservations. You got, you got a snake sitting there. Little cowboy. So this town is really big with old westerns and stuff. All kinds of stuff hanging on the walls. Bunch of old rocks. Another big snake. I don't know if that's called taxidermy with a fill it in. Are those fangs hanging out? Jeez, look at those things. Huge. That's really cool the way they do that. Alright, so I think we're gonna head across the street now. Just check out that side. 
and then it'll probably be the end of the video so across the street again emporium antiques it's kind of a big building too that's cool how hey, you got the second story things up here freedom antiques and artisans emporium they have all kinds of stuff sitting out all kinds of stuff old radio flyer old chest got an old guy sitting there old sign some old pottery old bunch of old stuff and there's a second story to it all it's a huge building for an antique shop don't you think now let's go check out this theater or whatever it was just right here Gina's place Gina's place old wooden chest Yeehaw! Old table. Some cool artwork on top of that. Whoa, a bunch of old rocks. It's amazing the things they do with all this stuff. Peaceful Pony Meditation and Wellness Store. Moon Lily, Apothecary, if I even said that right. Natural Herbs and Teas. I think I said it right. Apothecary, Apothecary. The old Verizon store. Not old Verizon. Hey, 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 I could just start singing with this guy, I swear. This reminds me of our brother Tony, just he just have a good time. <laughs> now here we go. Look like there's some artwork on the side of this building as well. It says Wickenburg. Valentine Street. Looks like old Native American statue. And this is cool. They took some time to get this up there. That is really cool. Discover Historical Wickenburg founded in 1863. And I'm stepping all up on the grass like I probably shouldn't be. It's like it's telling a story almost. That's the 761 uh, locomotives train that we saw over there. Old wagon wheel. Jail tree and public walkway. We went that way already. All right, so we'll turn on and go back this way. That is just too cool. When you're just driving through most towns, you don't even see it. I mean, you literally have to walk to historic districts to see stuff like this. Everyone else just drives by. I've been to this town a hundred times and I've never seen any of this. Even since I was little. So this trip is definitely worth it. Oh yeah, smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And this, I don't know if this is a concert venue, a movie theater, Saguaro, the Wild Bird, Southern Bird. Quiet Place Part 2. I think this place might actually be open. Yeah, May 2021. Emma Stone. Wild Bunch. Quiet Place Part 2. Can I get a ticket to Quiet Place 2, please? Well, thank you. <laughs> 
That's cool. Hello. Got an old phone there. See, it's auto, automatic, automatic ticket. That's what it says. That's cool. Yep, and this was where we parked. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I definitely got burnt up walking around. We saw a train. We saw a bunch of history. We saw an old movie theater that is still being used. All kinds of statues with history with it. My favorite part was that train was driving by. That was really cool. Without further ado, Thank you for watching the video. I appreciate every single one of you guys. We are doing nothing but big things. Love you guys. See you on the next video. Peace.